Hello and welcome to Release Date Rewind. My name is Mark J. Parker and I am a film lover, filmmaker, film celebrator. And normally this is an audio podcast wherever you get your podcasts on your favorite apps. But thanks to Portland Media Center, you are about to watch the video component of this show where I celebrate movie anniversaries with my friends. Each month, I usually talk about two different movies that I love with different friends, and we talk about the making of the movies, trivia, any fun memories associated with them. So I hope you enjoy, because now it's time to rewind. Whenever you watch any of these movies, but for some reason, especially with this one, I just kept thinking to myself, what would you do if oh you were God. Bridget Fonda. Like, I know. Like I said, this was my first time rewatching it in a while, and I kind of forgot the reveal when she is walking down the steps at the salon, which, I don't know, I mean, how many, how many like, staircases are there in random salons in New York? <laughs> but, okay, cool, we'll go with it. Like, it's very sure, fancy. we'll go with it, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I was surprised at, actually, it was a pretty fast reveal. Like, they go into mm. this salon, and Bridget's just there, and I love how she's getting a haircut, yet her hair looks the exact same, right? Oh, like, absolutely. the guy's taking off the the um, smock, and, like, I'm like, I see nothing. And she's in the mirror doing this whole thing. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, well, you're not, you, you nothing happened. Yeah, you know? <laughs> right? I'm like, okay, sure, sure, Jan. But, um, and then all of a sudden, you just see the feet. And that was the other thing that I was like, how does she know right away that that's Hetty's feet? But, okay. But I was just shocked. <laughs> it, that, that big scene, because it is so memorable, and I love it so much, and it is terrifying. But but it's really pretty short. I feel like a movie nowadays would draw that they out. They would have baby. drawn it out. Yes. There'd yes. be slow motion steps. There'd be like lots you of cuts so back and right. forth. Right? Someone who borrows. I've got a surprise for you. You've got to be kidding. I love myself like this. It was like looking at myself. I was scared. Of course, by then, some weird shit has already happened. I totally forgot about the dog. The dog dying. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is dark. Yeah. That is you know, and dark. the script, you know, of course, uh, make fun of it all you want, right? Because it is, there are definitely some cheesy moments, but the script, I think, is pretty great. How, like, you know, the boyfriend, what is his name? I forget. Steve? Um, Sam. No, that's his, oh, Sam. Sam. Yeah. So Sam is, like, working on these sort of, like, uh, balcony, uh, I don't even know what you would call like the, that. The, it's like this. The great or the, the, great, the fencing. Yeah, like sort the of fencing. The, yeah. Exactly. Yep. And so he's working on that. It's it's there's a section that's coming right off that like, you know, a dog could fall right through. And man, Hetty does not miss a beat. She is so aware. She brings home this dog, which I'm like <laughs> and Greg goes, "Uh, you best be taking that back right now." Exactly. Like Exactly. Just brings home a dog to our brand new roommate. She's only been in this nope. apartment for uh, maybe a few days, right? Nope. And, uh, oh, you know, they were giving him away. And then she brings him home only to kill him a few days later. Oh, my gosh. That is dark. Because that's so when. Because I forgot also that Sam and Allie, Bridget Fonda, are very, like, back and forth. On again, off again. Right? Cause, right. Because, of course, they break up in, within the first five minutes. But then he wins her back, you know. And that's when Hetty starts to really start doing some shit you know she's well got that was that. my other thing also it's like maybe because it happened so quickly the breakup happened so quickly when yep. she took him back i'm like girl like no yeah. like what are you doing right. you know right that that yeah, took I, a minute for me to i hear you yeah it does feel kind of like oh wow okay that was very fast like mm -hmm. do we want to like get to know you on your own for a little bit longer like right i would probably have steven weber come back a little later like a good yes. few scenes later just to build up this relationship mm -hmm. between roommates a little bit more right right but Agreed. yeah when they're yeah. they've gone out to lunch or whatever and hetty's already kind of gotten the cold shoulder shoulder from them right and then when they are coming around the corner and also how fun upper west side uh, not very far from where you and i worked which is right no a exactly. little triggering yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, but like West 75th, you know, and, and they're walking right by that fairway. I remember that fairway very well also because yep. I've been to that fairway, right? You probably mm -hmm. have too. Yep. And they come around that corner and hear that person scream and the dog is on the ground and ooh, that is dark. And then how Hetty even tries to blame it on Sam, you know? Exactly. Well, Sam didn't even fix it properly. I'm like, oh, right. girl, I you thought it was are... fixed. Yeah. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Well, can we even just back up just a minute when I think yeah. it was one of the first times that Hetty met Sam 
Sam was over at the apartment. Maybe not the first time, but there was a point early on where Sam was over at the apartment. I think, I don't know if he and Bridget Fonda had just finished having sex, but right. they were in the bedroom. Hetty comes to the door, like in her robe that was like yes. open. Yes. And I'm like, inappropriate. Like, oh, girl, yeah. like close your Definitely. robe. Put your and boobs also, away. On the same on the same coin, um, I am so shocked at how brazen Sam is after just having sex. He's just lying there in the bed, naked, just kind of like chatting with her. Like, I'm like, are yeah. you kidding me? No, Hello, exactly. everyone. Nope. Shut yeah. the door. I'll problem. see you in five minutes. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. If I was nope. Allie, I'd also come out of the bathroom and be like, uh, what's like, going what the hell on is here? going on? Yeah. You both are barely covered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's some good. There's definitely good tension there that I like that she can never fully trust him and Hetty has a point Hetty tells her multiple times he's going to do it to you again he's right? not going to change later on right. later on before that epic death with the stiletto um, she even says to uh, Allie he's going to cheat on you again I promise yep. you and that's when you're like yep. oh what does right. that mean uh -oh. and then off she goes Gosh. wearing that shiny jacket that yes, scene freaked man. me out when she's in it's... the dark he's sleeping also I'm like he did not lock his door I mean what <laughs> Right? Like, she just walks right here? in. Okay. Unless, uh, actually, unless maybe she. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I'm dumb. I'm remembering now. I think he sent Allie a key the to key. his apartment that yes. Hetty had in her box of secrets. Right, which right? she didn't give to Allie. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, okay. She had a key, but I guess I just needed like an insert shot, like a close up of like her, you know, with the key in her hand or something. Agreed. I'm Agreed. like, you know, of course he just happens to be lying there sleeping naked. And then how she, you know, that's not Allie. Although apparently, fun fact, when there's a shot of her taking off the jacket and I guess we see her butt, that is Bridget Fonda. I don't know if this is true, oh, but okay. I guess I guess because Jennifer Jason Lee was getting her makeup done and they wanted to shoot it right away, Bridget Fonda happened to be there, so they did sort of say, "All right, let's like play with the audience." And you and so the shot from behind is Bridget, oh, but then the front okay. is so I don't know if that's true, but you know, crazy. But yeah, and then of course that really crazy sex scene where he it's is so... she's going down on him. It's it's again he's kind of bearing all and she is going down on him and he notices that it's not Allie. Well, she even says, my... no, not Allie. And then he still is able to finish, you know, uh, finish up. <laughs> yep. Yes. And she, yeah, totally. I mean, that wow. was, yeah. And I couldn't like, I remember that scene happening, but I didn't remember like exactly how it played out. So when he realized right. that it wasn't Allie, it's yeah. like, you want it to end. Like you want him to, like push her away push, but then i guess like, i'm like yeah, you maybe, can't really like yeah I don't know what you can do but, in that but situation then, because i guess she's just so wonderful and living up to her name hetty <laughs> um she gets him to seconds finish. later yeah second oh very fast he was ready to go she's and talented. um and now she has that power like she was able to actually get him to cheat on ali i mean yes. oh my gosh twisted someone who steals Hey, sleepy guy. Ellie? Like I said, remembering that scene, but then watching it again, it was like, yeah. oh, like just seeing the time between him knowing that it was her and him like pushing yeah. her away. Like that oh, yeah. was just. And still, still he's just lying there, you know, after mm -hmm. they've done it and she's getting her jacket back on and he's sort of stunned, which I believe, but I mean, I think I'd also maybe like quickly run to the bathroom and like barricade the right. door or something so, you know something. he wasn't really yeah but i but i know i guess that was also maybe the the creatives trying to tell us that like he is a little slimy we know that he really honestly yeah. isn't a great guy so right. he's not really gonna do what the normal uh you know honest uh loyal person True. might do so True. yeah yeah and it's funny because rewatching this i was thinking the way she, Bridget Fonda finds out in the beginning that he's cheating on her would never really happen nowadays because that mail, was back in the yeah. day, right? When when voicemail was always like on speakerphone randomly. Mm -hmm, I, I almost mm -hmm. feel like that was like a trope in movies because it's like that wasn't how it was in our house. But you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> like now it would have to be like an email or a text. It would have to right. be written out, you know? Yes, um, so true. So yeah, I just thought that was funny. Like, oh wow, the way she found out wouldn't even exist. That hasn't yeah, existed in yeah. a long she time. She wouldn't have known. You know? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I also completely forgot about Grant. The gay friend neighbor the gay. upstairs. Which you know, what do you think also, about him? 
I yeah. Bram, I mean, the fact, right along with Bram, just the fact that you can so clearly hear what's happening in the apartment upstairs yeah. through the vents, it's like... Uh -huh. <laughs> and then also how he awkwardly tells her later in the movie before he gets attacked by Hetty, yeah. um, which is fun as well. What I have to say, that attack is a great use of that that lock stick that some apartments have. Well, that's could... what I was going to mention. That was the thing that I wanted yeah. to talk about also. Like everything, oh. not everything, but there are several, like all the big things that are used to hurt or kill someone in this movie are referenced earlier on. Like we mm. see that stick thing earlier on in the movie when somebody is first, yep. first opening the door. The screwdriver yep. at the end oh, is God. used when she first moves into the apartment building. Oh, the wow. stiletto... We see the stiletto early on when she first bought. So, like everything that ends right. up getting used, we've already seen it referenced. Like, which wow. is like, I don't know. It's not always fun. Like we've seen that. We've seen it. Oh we've yeah. Seen it. So it, it, they're setting it all up for you. Like they're displaying everything for you. And oh then yeah. Oh, I like that. It gets used wow, later. I yeah. I didn't even good good eye. I didn't even notice it really about the the lock and the screwdriver. I definitely noticed it with the with the stiletto when they're like out shopping and that there's yeah. even like a oh i wanted those oh i did too oh you right, get them right. that's fine you know like, like that little foreshadowing yep. yeah and, yeah I so when hetty first moves into the apartment she ali is showing hetty you know she shows her the basement and she's like yeah sometimes you have to use the screwdriver because the elevator gets stuck so they like make a whole oh moment God, out of that yes. So, so yeah, smart. it's like everything yes. is like kind of, which is kind of cool, yes. you know. Oh, I, I think um, it's great. It's like, a, it's a good classic like mystery in that way where mm -hmm. things are going to come full circle. Right. Oh yeah, and I'll that just, elevator. I'll I just mean, drop this wow. for you. Yeah. 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 Um, you know? But I liked Graham. Like I'm, I, I, I always laugh at these movies where the person has been like so badly injured in some way right. and they're like half dead, but then all of a sudden they like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. He's in the bathtub the with his cat just resting on his shoulder. Right. I'm like, wow. And then he is this all like of a sudden... is this every gay man's nightmare to die alone in a tub <laughs> with your cat on the, your shoulder? With your cat, right? Exactly. In your <laughs> dark yeah, ass apartment. <laughs> right. Another dark ass apartment. I know. No one. No one in this fancy building no turns on lights. lights. Um, but yeah, I I thought that was kind of funny too, and I feel like that was very much a thing of this time when you think someone died. Right, because she beats him a few times with the with the uh, lock stick, which that whole scene right. is good. I I kind of forgot that that creeped me out. Where like he yeah, hears no, the noise, good. he thinks it's the cat, and then she's not like trying to hide or trying to attack him. She's just like walking to the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because I feel like with the guys, I don't know. Do you think she meant to kill them, or she just was in the heat of the moment? you know, and killed them. Because with both of them, she was sort of there to do something else. You know, with, with uh, Sam, she just wants to get him naked and, and prove yeah. that he will cheat. I don't know yeah, if she right. wanted to kill him, you know? With Graham, but then you think about she the actually fact that is she... then trying to get out, you know? Right, true. But then you think about the fact that she so easily killed, Mit what's his name, Mitchell? The boss guy. The like, Yeah, she... oh yeah. So she had no problem shooting him multiple times. So totally. it's like, Which is, she could I have do to say, that, that whole... That whole twist, I think, is brilliant. Like how you were saying, like, why are we spending so much time with this client? You know, is it is it sort of like a bigger thing of talking about how, like, a, a, a woman, a young woman is treated by men in this right. business, which that's interesting. But, like, yeah. what's the big deal, right? And then how she's, like, molested by him, attacked by him. But then we don't fully, I feel like, grieve with her enough. So I'm like, what's going on? But then how it comes back with her random weird amazing software that like if he if he hasn't paid her yeah then the the stuff she created for them just starts deleting which is so, so brilliant crazy. and probably not realistic at all but i love it right. so much <laughs> right right well also what not realistic is just FU. like i just laughed at how like almost convoluted it was yeah. for him to get to graham's apartment like he had yeah. ali's yeah. number but there was that one yeah. time she apparently called him from Graham, so she, so he knew that apartment number. Yes, like, this that, is very weird. That, like, okay, I told, I totally hear you. That to me was a little weird. I didn't even realize we were in Graham's apartment. I guess I was looking up Bridget Fonda, and I didn't, I missed <laughs> that. Oh, okay, we are now upstairs. I yeah. don't know why that was necessary. Um, I guess it was just to get all the bodies in one place, and right. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that was a little. I, I feel like maybe, convoluted. yeah, maybe a slightly better script or something done today might have him go to her apartment. He's knocking, 
and maybe finds out some other way. Maybe a neighbor says, yeah. like, oh, she might be visiting Graham upstairs. Right. He you lives know? right upstairs. Thing. He's directly above her. Yeah, like something. Because, yeah, yeah. He, Graham is written on the card, it's on the business so card. Random. I'm like, what? Like, yeah, that weird. you're right. That was yeah. a little, you know. But, oh, my God, the twist of just him having to. I mean, also, it's so what. what's kind of great is it's so dark and twisted that this guy wants to hurt her again so badly. Right. Over this software, you know, issue that he right. goes to her apartment, which already is terrifying. There's like multiple mm -hmm. terrifying layers here. Right. Yes. And that yes. he, you know, is then in the elevator with Hetty, which is crazy Two people that want to hurt Allie. And then, yeah, that great, brilliant twist where he actually is the shitty guy that's going to save her. Right. Although then you think like, would he really save her? Like he's going to, I love that shot when she looks right into camera, when he rips the tape off her. I love it. It's right? so good. Be careful. She's crazy. And then before he even notices, then Hetty's right there. And yeah, she has, she takes the pillow. She hits him. She takes the pillow and, and she knows exactly what shots. to do to get him out. Exactly. And also again, how dark and twisted she shoots him right next to Allie on the floor. Like yes. that is so, Oh, well, so dark. And then she's ruthless. Like she, when she, after she thinks she has strangled Allie, she brings her down and she was going to put her in the Oh my God, in the furnace. Thing. Oh my like, God, like, I know. Like, girl. Know. And it's so funny because just a few minutes ago, she was making Allie, I don't know why she couldn't just do it, but she's making Allie type on her, what we were talking about earlier, that beautiful <laughs> old laptop. And, and I love seeing the old Mac, like yes. 90s, CompuServe, right. you know, and how... I, I thought only Scream did this because there's a scene in Scream where Nev Campbell's typing to 911. I'm like, when did that ever exist? Like, I love yeah, it. When was that but ever then, an option? But then Allie is doing that when, when Hetty like leaves the room. She's like, this is not a joke. I'm like, oh my God, I love it. I love this I'm like, girl, just too. send. Press send. Just, like... <laughs> just yeah, SOS. SOS right. and the address. Um, and then he but Hetty's onto her. She turns Hetty's around like, the corner. Wow. She knows. But um, yeah, I like how just minutes before she's about to burn Allie, she has Allie like um, getting them like plane tickets to go away together. I'm like, to I LA, guess LA. It's gonna be better uh, in LA. <laughs> yeah, we'll 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 get a different similar haircut, you know. <laughs> exactly. Um, and it was so funny um, speaking of the haircut because right in the beginning, Greg's like, "That is a very unique, like severe <laughs> haircut." I'm like, "Oh, you're like, oh, you don't even know great. what's coming because <laughs> it can't just be like a blonde, you know. It's got to be no. a unique haircut. That's what makes exactly. that reveal." So yes, such a twisted, thing. right? It's, yeah. I love that he, he said that because coming. yeah, it's yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> you're like so. Duh. I, I I mentioned this earlier. This is one of the like I kept coming back to this whole idea. What would you do? Like mm -hmm. this girl moves in, or this boy in our case, whatever in our right. case, uh -huh. moves into yeah. our apartment. We are creeping through their closet, and we see that they have purchased the same outfits that we have purchased. Oh my god, the same outfits, yeah. They have the same haircut that we like. What would you do? Like, what do you even begin to do in a situation like this? Like, I was starting to get like anxious because I'm like, <gasps> like, oh, I know. It it I is know. A, it's a really good problem because yeah, like, you almost need time with it. You can't just like react quickly, you know. So I get it that like some time passes. It's not something you can immediately like act on, you know. Um, God, what would I do, Tariq? If I saw that haircut, well, I I think to a fault i'm too honest so i think if i mm. saw some guy coming down with my hair down the <laughs> stairs i'd be like wait this like, hold up, is hold not up. this is not gonna work though <laughs> what are you doing you know and then i probably would just right. get killed right there in the salon you know <laughs> um so i wouldn't i wouldn't really fake it i'd be like no this is weird because what am yeah. like that's me right what right, would you right. do we're not you leaving speak up right I away no i don't know like she just became, Hetty just became so like, like, where have you been? There was one scene where she was like, where the hell have you been? Like, just like, yes. you know, so it's like, uh, how do you respond to that? I don't, Yeah. I don't know. Totally. I don't know. You, I'm glad you brought that up because I feel like that's when Allie starts realizing Hetty is not always so cool because mm -hmm. I think that's when the dog is still there and it's like their first late night or like all nighter with Sam, Allie's, you know, back together with Sam. And that's when it's right. like, whoa, Hetty is a little overbearing, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Someone who would kill to be her. Constable 
the blood stains. Yeah, I, I do appreciate that they um, took their time with laying out all the red flags. It didn't jump from zero to sixty. Right. You know, it was it was intense from the, from the first one, but it progresses nicely. You know. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, but I then, agree. Like, can you imagine then going into the room, which I also forgot, and I kind of love that Allie is sort of asking for trouble. I know that's probably not the best way to say it, so sorry, everybody. But early on in the film, you know, once Hetty's her roommate, Allie just kind of goes snooping in the room and, like, playing with those earrings that we know mm -hmm. mean something. And you she know. puts on her perfume. Yes. And I'm girl, like, put her stuff down. Yeah. yeah, that's never a good idea, ever. Exactly. Even with a roommate it's... you've you've loved for six months, you want to like ask right. first, right? So yeah, that is sort of you know. But then when uh, Allie goes back in there later and sees that shoebox of those secrets, right? And after Hetty talks about being like an only child or whatever, right? And um, and then like you see the picture of those creepy twin girls. Oh my god, they start the movie it's too. So creepy. Yeah. So well, and then you see the letter that Sam had sent her with the keys, and it's like. Yeah. So you know that she yep. kept those. Like the whole thing. That is just so... that to me would really be so terrifying. I wouldn't be able to speak right there. I think I would. No. Uh, I guess I guess I would go to the cops then, right? Right. And you know, I'm just remembering because the the weird twin girls in the very beginning, which I do like how it starts that way because you're not really sure like. Unless, you you know, I'm sure in the trailer it's obvious, but if you just were coming into this movie blind, you're kind of like, okay, which character yeah, is that, who is right? This? You're not right. really sure. But how these twin girls, like, then kiss each other on the lips, which is also strange. But then strange. that comes into play later on, and I also, another moment I really remembered very well is the knife digging into Allie's yes. neck and in the chair. And you see the mark still. Mm -hmm. Yes, the mark, and, like, that extreme close-up, like, wow, that's a really interesting really well done scene but then how ally even like kisses hetty which i'm not really sure why why do you think she does that i don't know and that's what i i i wondered the same thing and i'm trying to think if it was like a reverting back to childhood like mm. she would kiss her sister you know like mm -hmm. in a loving way yeah. i don't know i don't know like that's that's the way i kind of took it well but, do you do you um, interpret is it because I don't really, honestly, I don't know if I see it this way, but I think some people do. Is Hetty uh, gay? Is she a lesbian? Uh, or do you mm, think? I didn't think that. That that didn't. Right? Yeah, I don't. I didn't either. That's interesting. I didn't think about that before. Because some people do. And I know there's like an article. I haven't read it yet. I should have. But um, saying it's a little bit problematic and a little bit lesbian phobic. But I didn't really get that from yeah. my repeated viewings of this movie. I don't really get any. I mean, gay it's funny. I get, now that you mention it, I can see it. Like that's not something that I thought about as I was watching it. But yeah. I can, I can see that being a thing. Like it's almost like, you know, she's in love with this woman. She's in love with this roommate. You know. So yeah. if you if you play it that way, it's a completely different thing. You know. Yeah. I guess I just. I don't know. I never really got it that she was in. I mean, maybe yeah, in love, but not romantically or sexually in love. I got yeah. the vibe that Hetty has sex with men and does, or has sex with anyone and does whatever she wants with them. But I just got the vibe that Hetty just really missed her sister. Yes. And I think even in the end, the ending, you know, once Hetty is killed, which I mean, that ending we'll talk about in a second. I mean, explosive ending. I love that whole basement stuff. Wow. So but the very, very end when it's very fast, it's uh, apparently, uh, uh, you might have seen this too. I guess there was a different ending and it, it tested Which very negatively. I right? saw that. I'm that? curious what it was. Yeah. I'm yeah. So curious, Someone like, online ultimate... posted a picture where they were in the elevator where it goes back to the choking, you know, bit before, the, you know, when, when basically Hetty thinks she's made Allie unconscious and the whole basement bit. I guess in the elevator, there is an image online of... Bridget Fonda on top of Jennifer Jason Lee with a knife. So I wonder if it was oh. actually going to end there, just in the elevator. Oh. I mean, we weren't even going to get all the basement stuff. Right. Which would right. be really tragic because I love Yeah, because the there was so much stuff. good stuff. But yeah. So much good stuff, right? Um, but yeah, I just feel like the, the button on the end is very fast where it's showing, I believe, Allie is, is moving out basically. And then we see the, the final image of the, that of the weird creepy, image. you know side by side half that i half. guess right uh hetty must have you know made which i would have loved to actually have seen hetty 
just a shot of Hetty cutting some Absolutely. photos earlier. Yep. I yep. think that would have really sold that ending even more. We didn't need to Agreed. see what she was cutting, but she was just kind of putting pictures of family on the wall or something yes. or, or magazines. And then that was like right? the final shot. Yeah. Yes. Agreed. But yeah. I, I think, I think um, Bridget Fonda's voiceover says something like, uh, Hetty just really, you know, took it too hard or something that she thinks she killed her sister when I, the sister died in the drowning, right? Years ago. Right. Is that what happened? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think something just snapped in her brain and she just feels guilty. So I always just kind of viewed it as that, like, here's a girl that's definitely having trouble grieving and feels guilty for the death of her sister. So once another sister so badly, I didn't really take yes. it as, you know, uh, a lesbian, a gay thing. thing. Yeah, no, same. Yeah, same. Um, yeah, it's funny because you probably yeah. look at it a whole different way if that is right. in your mindset. Like, if the whole lesbian thing is is something yeah. that you're thinking about, then yeah, you see the whole interaction in a completely different way. You know, totally. Well, now we'll yeah. rewatch it again and come back again. and do another episode. One more time. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Bridget Fonda. I know you weren't yourself when you did this thing. Jennifer Jason Lee. I know. I was you. Single white female. It's so it's much a, fun. It's a, this movie. It's a now, do you think? Color. I know we were talking about this with the hand that rocks the cradle. Do you think this movie ever should, ever could be remade, or do you feel like leave this one alone? You know, it's pretty Ooh. perfect. That's a good question. Well, it already I was know, remade. Uh, yeah. There was like a, a black version, right? Did you, it was like single black female oh. or something. Oh, I didn't, wait, I really? I haven't seen it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a movie called like single black female. I haven't. I don't know the full details of it. Um, That's so funny. Oh, my God. We have to do some research on that. Um, oh, my God. I, know I would be sequel. into like an updated version. Yes, which there was like a direct to video. Yeah, no one saw in 2005. Yeah. Single white female yeah. two colon the psycho. I'm like, guys, are you trying to turn everyone away from this? Right, and then apparently exactly. NBC, like five years ago, back in 2016, so six years ago, was working on a TV adaptation. I saw that. Which I don't. Oh, did you see that too? Yeah, I don't know if it would live on as a series, maybe a limited series, right? Yeah. But right. I feel like, like it's got to have an give end. Give me a like. Netflix, you know, six episodes, yeah, eight episodes, six episodes. There was a, a little piece of trivia that said that Bridget Fonda, I don't know if she auditioned for either role or she could have picked oh. either role. Like she could yeah. have been Allie or she could have done the Jennifer Jason Lee. I role. did see that. Yeah. Which I think she, like, I think she chose wisely. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I could see her in that. It's funny because I think in that same bit of trivia, she said she chose Allie because she thought that role was harder, which right. I definitely don't think that role is easy, but I don't know. I but it's not hard. Any role is crazy. Heavy. Right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it opened at number two, never made it at number one. It opened mm. after Unforgiven, that movie we talked about that was such a big yeah. deal. It went on to make $84 million worldwide, so it was definitely a success, you know, okay. as, and that's why we're yeah. still talking about it to this day, you know. Um, on the awards side... Funny that Bridget Fonda didn't choose the heady role because Jennifer Jason Lee did get some uh, wins and noms. So she was nominated for Best Actress by the Chicago Film Critics Association. Okay. And I always think it's funny to talk about the MTV Movie Awards. She won Best Villain the following year at the MTV Awards. All right. So, I'll give it to you know, me. yeah, I mean, yeah. sure. I, I totally makes sense to me. She's a pretty iconic female villain when you think about exactly. all of them, you know? So, yeah. Oh, I hear a voice. I think it's time. Thanks so much for watching. Next time, there's going to be a new movie that we'll talk about, so stay tuned. And please follow Release Date Rewind on Instagram for updates. Bye.